So coach, your comments about the game? Well, nothing. Uh, we missed our chance because we didn't follow every instruction from uh, from our uh, from locker room. And uh, if you want to be Jalgiris, we must do everything perfect. We didn't, and uh, especially in the last quarter defensively, we play with every player has his own rule and uh, of course all the Spanish us and uh, I can just congratulate him then. Treneris apgalė stavė, kad nepavyko pasimduot šansų ir labiausiai to, kad žaidėjai nesilaikė taisyklių, nesilaikė gynybos taisyklių. Treneris sako, kad ketvirtajame kelnie visi žaidėjai žaidė savo gynybos sistemą ir dėl to labiausiai gaila. O norint nugalėti Žalgirį, reikia padaryti viską puikiai. Coach, at the first half, it seemed that you prepared a really good uh, job uh, uh, against Emmanuel Moody. Today he scored just three points, I guess, yes? How did... Yes, how did it happen and uh, uh, what what was about the defense against Moody? But okay, first of all, we don't play against Moody, we play against Algaris. We just make scouting for every players. Maybe Moody wasn't in good shape today. I, I don't have like magic secret, you know, like got a special we, uh, plan against him. I, I don't wanna say now what what we prepare for every player, but nothing special for especially for him. Of course, we talk about every Jalgiris player and about him, but it's nothing, uh, I mean, nothing magic. Klausimas buvo apie planą prieš Emanuelį Moody, treneris sako, kad ruošime žaisti prieš kiekvieno Žalgirio žaidėjo, darėm skautingą kiekvieno krepšininko ir nieko ypatingo neparuši šiam žaidėjui. You had uh, uh, 10 points lead at the, uh, last, uh, the last quarter. Uh, how Jalgir is back to the game? How did Jalgir is back to the game? Yeah, we made we made uh, foul on three point shot. After that, uh, we made turnover. I still thinking I'm here four years, but I didn't talk about referees. I still think that was intentional foul. We made turnover, three points from uh, from Elax in transition. And again, uh, we decided to go under, not 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 according to our rules uh, against Lekavich, who made three points. So that's nine points in. Uh, 37 seconds, something like that, one minute, and they catch us. So I think that for sure uh, that was a decisive, decisive part of the game. Klausimas buvo, kaip pavyko išprasti dešimtuškų panašumą. Treneris sako, na, pataikė primiausiai tritaškį, tada kitam epizodai jis mano, kad turėjo būti pražanga prieš Džiordžio Gagičių, bet varžovai nubėgo greitą ataką, pataikė tritaškį. Tada kitoj atakoj prieš Lekavičio buvo į tą per apačią prūštvarą, jis nubaudė dar vienu tritaškiu. Na ir tai buvo svarbiausias rungtynių epizodas. Coach, one more question, because that was uh, one more tough game against Jalgiris, uh, being uh, as you as a head coach of Letkabelis. Uh, years ago also we saw a lot of uh, tough games between Letkabelis and Jalgiris. But what are the main changes comparing that Jalgiris with Jalgiris last year? I mean, that's, <clears throat> I apologize, but that's really not a question for me. I have a lot of things to do with my team, you know. I, I just can say that I very respect Jalgiris for sure, the best Lithuanian team, but it's not uh, how to say it. I'm not a person who can talk about Jalgiris. No, I'm, I'm not in Jalgiris. Is it easier to prepare Sorry, for Jalgiris this year compared to last year? <laughs> for me, it's easier because I'm here like three, four years. For me, it's easier to play against, uh, I mean, not easier, easier to prepare against uh, PN also because I know players here. That's the only reason because it's easier, not because of players and other coaches. And I really I don't want to comment other other teams, you know, that's not it's not professional. Klausimas buvo trenerio apie Žalgirį, ar kokį matų didžiausią pasikeitimą. Treneris nedorėtų komentuoti, sako, turi daug darbo savo komandą, kas aš toks, kad kaip kalbėčiau apie Žalgirį, nesu ten. Taip pat buvo klausimas, ar lengviau ruošti Žalgirį, sako, kad man lengviau ruoštis, nes pažįstu visus žaidėjus, esu Lietuvoje jau ketvertą metų, žinau ir pasvalio žaidėjus ir kitus, tai tik tai iš tos pusės. Thank you, coach. First of all, congratulations to our guys for winning the game. I would say um, better defensive uh, performance of us. Um, 
<laughs> when we were down 10, we kept guarding. We had problems scoring the basketball, but we kept guarding. Uh, that was, I thought, the key to turn the game around. We raised our activity, we raised our deflections in the fourth quarter a lot. Uh, we controlled the boards. After giving the opponent five offensive rebounds in the first quarter, we kept them to nine. And that's important with a team like that. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm happy about the grind and I'm happy about the win. Trainer is pasidžio ga pergalę, sako, kad yra aktinis dalykas buvo tai, kad trečiajame kelnie, kad atsilikome dešimt užkų gerai gynėme, ketvirtajame kelnie padidinome intensyvumą, labai svarbu buvo atkovoti kamorį palime. Kaip ir šalvai pirmajame kelnie sugrėbė net penkis kamorius palime, vėliau palikom jos su naštoniais ir tai buvo labai svarbus aspektas. Treneris pasidžiau ge pergalę. Coach, in your opinion, why, why your team cannot start playing like this, like like they play in fourth quarter from the beginning? Why they cannot play, start uh, play start to play in the, from the beginning like they did like they did in the fourth quarter? Um, I I can't answer the question. Um, I cannot answer the question. Fact is though that um, the goal must be to to play with that uh, focus and also I want to say defensive intensity. Um, and we have to figure out um, why it is uh, how you said. So again, though, offense, defensively, I thought um, the, 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 the focus was there for most of the time. Um, I, I thought we had biggest problems offensively. Um, so uh, again, can't answer the question, but uh, for sure looking for um, answers, you know? Klausimas buvo, pirmasis klausimas šiandien buvo apie tai, kodėl Žalgiris negali taip žaisti kaip ketvirtajame kelnie. Treneris sako, kad geras klausimas, jis pats neturi atsakymą jį, sako, kad turime žaisti būtent taip, su didelių intensyvumų, susikoncentravę, bet na, nepavyksta tai padaryti, gerai, kad šiandien tai pavyko padaryti ketvirtajame kelnie. It was a kind of last uh, test before the Euroleague. What are your main concerns uh, and what, uh, what, what things you, you expect your team to, to do better in, on Friday? Uh, you know, after, after this game, and this is from game to game, after this game, uh, <coughs> I would say the main concern is like to score the ball. Um, uh, after, after the two games before, uh, the main concern was how to defend the basketball, you know, how to guard on, on the other end of the floor. Um, so again, it's, how should I say, it's, it's step by step, it's game by game. Um, uh, I know, I know uh, people talk about, okay, here's the uh, uh, first EuroLeague game, but um, for us today was Lid Kabelis. And uh, uh, we respect Lid Kabelis a lot and, uh, and now we focus on the next, you know, so... Uh, that's that's one thing that that kind of is important. Um, yeah. Klausimas buvo apie tai, kas labiausia trenerį neramina prieš penktanį Euroligo startą. Treneris sako, po šitų rungtynių turbūt neramina polimas, prieš tai dviejų buvusių rungtynių labiausiai neramina gynybą turbūt. Sako, mes žiūrėjom į kiekvienas rungtynės atskirai, jūs žiūrite Euroligą, mes žiūrėjom į Lietkabelį, kurį labai gerbiame, dabar žiūrėsime vėl. Lietkabelis played amazing in the fourth quarter. How could you comment on his performance today and and uh, um, yeah, I thought he played well. You know, his quickness obviously, um, his quickness obviously uh, helps. You know, just to break the paint and make plays. Um, I, I also thought that it helped that you know, at the end of the day, he he only played twenty minutes, so he still had a lot in the tank uh, down the stretch, which gave us the possibility to play him all the way. You know, and 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 the whole the whole uh, last quarter basically so um, no very 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 happy obviously and uh, the role of his on this team uh, is uh, without any question going to be a big role um, and um, so far he's done a good job um, you know fulfilling it but again we are very very early in the season Klausimas apie Luko Lekavičio žaidimą. Treneris sako, kad šiandien jis buvo labai svarbus, jo greitis padėjo pramušti varžovų gynybą, išdraskyti. Sako, jis buvo sužaidęs ne daug minučių, dėl leido jį palikti aikštelį praktiškai visą ketvirtą kelnį. Sako treneris, kad Lekavičio žaidimo labai svarbus komandoje. Emanuel Moody set out the fourth quarter. How could you comment on his performance and what Lekavičio did better than him today, if you could specify to some things? Um, I, I would say it was, you know, a few thing, and uh, and uh, Emmanuel is as dominant as he was last game. 
Um, uh, he was not so much uh, this game. I thought he started uh, the second half, you know, not as aggressive, not as sharp. Uh, I thought he picked up that offensive foul that kind of took away his aggression. Um, and it's important for him to keep the aggression, you know, because we need him to get down downhill. We need him to get to the free throw line. So, you know, it's an in-game in-game decision, you know, that happens. And and next game he'll be out there playing again. Klausimas buvo, kodėl Emanuelis Moody ketvirtą kelnį praleidė don solo. Treneris sako, kad, na, jisai nebuvo toks dominuojantis, kaip rungtynės su Dzukija, bet trečią kelnį pradėjo šiek tiek gaudomas pražangą polime, tai sumažino jo agresiją, o būtent reikalavimu šio agresyvumo, stojimo prie baudų metimo linijos. Ir sako treneris, kad toks sprendimas rungtynių metu į tam atčią gali būti visiškai kitaip. Kaudžių čelendžia kol in the fourth quarter against Jens Ternix, man Gagic fouled him. Uh, but it, from the side, it looked that you didn't know about this rule because you, you took that chance to challenge after the small talk with the referee. Did you know about this rule before? You think the referee tells me to challenge it? No, because you looked at... You You, you think the referee tells me to challenge a call? Come on now. But he, he, he offers you... No, he told me that I have to pick up the flag for the TV so the TV sees. No, just, I'm just asking. If yeah, you, I challenged the call because I was hoping that they uh, give an unsportsmanlike uh, a foul. I thought the chances were not high, but you know, that's where the challenge kicks in, I think, especially in the fourth quarters. And due to the fact that one doesn't lose a timeout, you know, it's like an easy call, you know. So um, uh, he told me to put up the flag because that's the official uh, uh, signal for it. That I uh, did not know. I thought it was like doing the finger like this. So that's a learning experience. Uh, just, just, it's, it's not often that I can see it. It's not often. Klausimas buvo apie iššūkio taisyklę. Treneris sako, kad na, teisėjams tiesiog pasakė, kad reikia pastatyti vėliavą dėl televizijos. Sako, paprašiau, kad peržiūrėtų nebuvo didelis šansas, kad duos gagiučių nesportinę, bet na, panaudojimą tam šį taisyklį yra. Sako, maniau, kad užtenka pasukti pirštų, kaip tai daroma užsienyje, bet sako, dabar jau išmokau, kad reikės pastatyti vėliavą. Dėkiu. 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 D